Hey guys, Grady here. Hi babies. Hi babies. Um, just taking a walk. So, hi babies. So, um, yeah, just taking a walk. Um, it's been a good day so far. It is Monday, December 10th, right? Yes, December 10th. Um, in exactly two weeks, it will be Christmas Eve. So that'll be fun. Um, yeah, so that's gonna be fun. Um, and, uh, well, that's one of the biggest things going on, but another thing I want to talk about is what's going on in the world. Guys, there's still so much violence. It's like it doesn't stop. It's like we're in a worse place right now than we were during World War II, I swear. I mean, I know that we're not, but that's how it feels. We shouldn't have to feel that way. I mean, we shouldn't, you know, we shouldn't. It's horrible, you know, and it makes me very, very angry and upset that there are people who just, they don't care, you know? People who have bumper stickers or shirts that say fuck gun control, they don't care at all about the violence that is caused by people who own guns. No, I do not want anybody to be allowed to own a gun because I'm not an idiot. I don't want a crazy psychotic murderer to legally get away with killing people. That's a huge problem. I see a huge problem in that. You don't. I'm not sure why you don't, but you don't care that all these children are getting shot and killed. And then the killers, they're not getting in any form of trouble for it at all. Because our government just doesn't care. They don't care, you know? Unless somebody is using a gun to shoot at a target or at a shooting range, I really don't see any other reason to own a gun. I don't. It's inhumane to shoot an animal with a gun. I feel it is excessively inhumane. Um, and I feel that, you know, hunters need to not do that. I feel it's completely ridiculous to shoot somebody just because they made you upset. If they made you upset, to be fair, depending on what it is, that's your fault if you get upset. That's not their fault, that's your fault. Some things you don't need to get upset about, okay? You just don't. You just don't. You don't need to get upset about them. You don't. I mean, it's like, really? You know how many bumper stickers that I've seen that in my mind offended me, but that in all actuality, I didn't make a big deal over? Because, you know, it's not worth your time for certain things. It's just not, okay? It's just not. It's not, but you know, I mean, you're not a bad person for having your beliefs and opinions, but you are a bad person if those beliefs and opinions go against being a good-natured human being. That's the biggest problem I have with, you know, a lot of our laws. They go against being a good, natured person. That's the problem I have with freedom in this country. Goes against being a good natured person. And it's true. It does. And it's so sad that, you know, we're still like that. You know, they say that this country is supposed to form a more perfect nation, really? Hmm. I see us actually being one of the worst countries in the world right now. And I see so many other countries 
setting a better example. I see China even setting a better example. We're setting, we aren't doing a good example at all. I mean, we're not. We'll not, but you know, that's not to say that everything that we do is bad. Cause I mean, it's not, you know, it's not. It's not, that's just crazy. Come on, honey. Julie, come on. Um, that's just, you know, that's just crazy talk. But, you know, we're not setting a very good example for other countries right now. You know, and in Brazil, my gosh, their president is worse than Donald Trump, which is really sad because they're suffering even worse than we are, and we're suffering pretty badly, which makes me very angry and upset. But that's something to get angry and upset about. Just don't take your anger out on others. That's the problem that I have with people who own guns. They think that they can use their guns to take their anger out on other people. And they are completely clueless of as to what horrible harm that causes to other people. It doesn't matter who it is. They don't care at all. It's really, really sad, really sad that they, ju they just don't care. You've got to be joking. And, you know, you people are like, oh, yeah, fuck gun control. I, I don't care if my children get shot and killed. Really? You've got to be joking. When my sister went down to the March for Our Lives with her um, voice instructor or some kind of teacher, um, her and her friends did a chant that said, hey, hey, NRA, how many kids have you killed today? And her vocal or her voice instructor or whoever he is, is her voice instructor um his he brought his four-year-old son with him and his son was holding up a sign that said am i next you've got to be fucking kidding that made me so so sad i do not want my kids to grow up in a country that does not care about future generations and the children that live in it. I, that's why my kids are not going to grow up here. They're not going to. I don't care what you guys say. You're not going to change my mind. I, ha I hate it here. I can't even, you know, I can't even, you know, be here for like five minutes without it making me sick. Seriously sickens me mentally sick for the most part but sometimes physically too and it's sad and you know what I shouldn't have to go through that but I do every day it's horrible you guys you just you just sit there and you just don't fucking care not all of you are like that a lot of you are not all of you it's fucking horrible why are you guys like like seriously I like to say this, if there are people who don't care, then they shouldn't care about living in general. They shouldn't. There's no reason for people like that to be alive on our planet. No. No. There's no reason for it at all. Not at all. But I'm not going to try and kill him. Because unlike some people, I'm not a crazy psychotic murderer. And I actually believe in human values and human decency. Values for all living creatures. I don't believe in killing anyone. Not for any reason, really. Out of self-defense, then, I mean, that's, you know, that's one thing. But if it's not out of self-defense, then, you know... then there's no, there's really no need just because you're upset. You realize, right? Unless it's a child, of course. Um, but you do realize that if you shoot somebody who's an adult or a teen, 
that you're essentially you're going to prison if you shoot and kill someone you are going to prison I hope you know that but you know what I don't want that for you I don't I don't want that for you or for anyone in your family but that's why I don't own a gun because I'm not gonna take a huge risk like that I'm glad I don't own guns we need gun control and if we don't get it then we might as well just give up on living here because there's really no point either way no point at all I don't see a huge point in people coming here they're just putting themselves in even more danger than they were in to begin with there was a guy who came from Mexico who ended up in prison and he said that being in prison in this country is better than being free in Mexico I mean according to him that may be true but I personally don't think that would be I think both would be equally bad I guess you could say hold on hon careful Julie See, now that guy's going slow. That's good. Um, but, like, guys, it's, it's a huge fucking issue. And you just, you all just sit there and you laugh and you're like, Oh, well, yeah, that wasn't caused by us. Well, yeah, it was. But, you see, you just don't realize the damage that you're causing by saying fuck gun control. There are millions of parents who have lost their kids to gun violence. Millions! And you don't fucking care! Because you have your fucking gun! You don't fucking care that, the, that when you pull that trigger and you shoot somebody, that it might potentially cost them their life. You just don't fucking care. Most of you don't. Some of you do. Not a very big portion. But some of you do care. You've got to be joking. If you think I'm gonna ever own a fucking gun no no I'm never gonna own a gun if I want protection I'll get dogs if I want protection I'll fight for myself without using a gun or any sort of weapon I don't need a fucking gun okay I don't need I definitely don't need an automatic that's a fact I definitely don't need an automatic you people make me sick really fucking horrible but uh, like I say you don't care and you're obviously not gonna listen to this whole video so do I expect you to you're damn right I expect you to but you're not going to because if anybody disagrees with you you're just like oh I'll kill him really that's why we came to this country so we could have disagreements not so we would get shot and killed for disagree that's what happened over in Europe you really want to bring that back really really you really want to bring that back you've got to be fucking kidding me no no I do not believe in violence of any sort I'm not an idiot and proud boys of Canada I'm talking to you you're all a bunch of fucking idiots I don't care what you do to me you're not gonna lay a hand on me I got so many dogs, you'd be crying out the backside of your head before you even got within 100 yards of me. You're not going to lay a hand on me, any of you. Because I'm not going to do anything to harm you. I'm not. Does that mean that I'll do something to protect you if you do something wrong? No. But I will not do anything to harm you. Because I don't believe in doing that. I know for a fact that that is cruel. It's horrible. But you guys, you just don't care. That's a problem for me. It's not a problem for you for some reason. I mean, you're not bothered when children get shot and killed. Wait until it's your own. Then you try to take the killer to jail and the government says, Nope. Sorry, we're, favor we're in favor of the criminal being scot-free so he's not getting in trouble you've got to be you're joking right you really don't really your child could be next 
I don't hope your child is next. I don't. I really don't. But I hope you guys all learn your lesson the hard way someday. Not like that, but in another way. I hope you all learn your lesson. I used to want to own guns. I would say we need one for protection. But, you know, now I'm just like, well, there's really no need. And I mean, there isn't. There really isn't. Even if you're just going to shoot at a target, it's like there's still really no need for that. You can use a bow and arrow to do those just as easily, if not more easily. You need to quit with the gun violence, okay? It's not cool, it's not cute, and it's definitely not funny. It's just stupid. And it shows a whole bunch of ignorance and arrogance and selfishness and hate. And we don't need any more hate in this world. We don't. We can't, we can't be hateful anymore. We can't do that. Guys, this makes me very sad. People wonder why I'm sad all the time. And I have to say to them, literally, everybody that asks me, I say, I've already told you this. You really need to quit asking me. And I mean, you do. You need to quit asking. I've told you guys why. You just seem to not hear what I'm telling you. Because all you hear is the sound of your gun going off, killing somebody you don't like. You don't kill somebody because you don't like them. You kill somebody if they're trying to kill you. That's when it's appropriate. All right? The only other creature that we are allowed to kill if they're trying to kill us are other human beings. I don't kill anything else. Not really, I mean, certainly not with a gun. Yeah, will, will I go fishing? I mean, yeah, I'll go fishing. But, you know. I always wait until the fish stops flopping around. But really, guys, you need to quit with the fucking violence. Because it's just making our world worse. You guys are like, oh yeah, you know, we really want to make the world a better place. We believe in love and happiness for all. And then you go out and you shoot somebody in the fucking head. That's not making it a better place. You guys are all a bunch of fucking idiots. I, I don't care if that offends you. You're all a bunch of fucking stupid idiots. That's what you are. You're all so stupid, you don't even know what's good for the world. You have no fucking clue. Not all of you are like that. I wouldn't even say most people in the world are like that. But a lot of you guys are not. It's horrible. You know, I am elated that in a few years I will get to live in a country as awesome and as wonderful as Canada, and I will leave this disgusting country behind forever. And until its laws get a hell of a lot better and until they get gun control, I won't even come back for five minutes. I won't. I don't care if people advise me to or if I need to for something, I'll say nope. If my doctor in Canada says, I need to go see a U.S. doctor. I'll be like, nope, I'll risk dying because I will not go come back here. That's just how unsafe I feel. And I shouldn't, no one in any country, especially not in this country, but really not in any country, should ever have to feel that way, ever. But I do every day. And I see a huge problem in that. You don't. I don't know why you don't. But you don't care that people feel unsafe. Anyways, guys, you know, that's going to mark it for this video. So I really hope you all have a peaceful, unviolent day. And I hope you all enjoy your holidays. And for those of you who are Jewish, I hope you all have enjoyed Hanukkah. Um, I hope you all have fun during the next few weeks as the year comes to a close. And I will uh, see you all t in tomorrow's video. Thank you for watching. Bye.